Hi guys, Todd here. Today, today is a, today is a sunny day. Anyway, that's got nothing to do with what we're about to talk about, which is some new gear from Fakir's Mods. Um, now, the Illusia Mech, which I reviewed a few weeks ago. Uh, this one, uh, if you remember this, this was the 21700. A uh, mechanical mod with wire, uh, but a uh, top firer here. And yes, I'll, I'll put a link to the review for this at the end of this video. Now they sent on a little box, and in that little box was this. <laughs> this! It's so small! Um, look! So this is the new range. Basically, they've got a new range. They've taken this design and they're now doing it in an 18650, an 18500, and a 14500. Uh, I'll, I'll cover everything. They're all the same price. I think they're all 150 euros. That's going through the Fakir's website. I do know that Rob in the UK, uh, steamisland.com, he does actually have them in stock. He has some of them in stock, uh, so you can get them there if you want, because I think if I remember right, Fakirs, you may get hit with import fees because they're Turkey, if I remember correctly. So, but you can buy them online. There's not huge waiting lists or anything like that. So I'll do a quick show and tell with that. Um, it's basically the same, it's just, smaller which kind of applies to this as well um all of the i think they're calling them the s the smaller ones um the 14500 the 18350 and the, not the 18350 the 500 and the 650 uh, you can only use 18 millimeter diameter atties on them which is where this comes in I've done a review for the ION RTA in the past. This is its little brother. This is its 18mm version. Uh, so I'll, I'll do a quick show and tell with this as well. It's basically the same as the last ATI I reviewed for them. It's just smaller. Uh, so that's going to be it. Uh, this one is, hang on, I've not a clue, 90 euros. Um, yes, I'll... I'll I'll get more professional as we go along here. Close-ups. Now they've stepped up their game on the packaging. This is new. This is, I don't remember them doing packaging like this in the past. And it is pretty funky. Uh, the only thing is, and I have to point this out, uh, I think I said at the beginning there was no 18350 version, but uh, you can see here we've got 14500, we've got 350, 500 and 650. So, I don't know. I can't see one on their own website or Steam Island's website, but it looks like there is an 18350 available. But for all these versions, you can only use an 18 millimeter diameter atty. Inside there, we've got a, a really nice box with Fakir's branding all over it. Open that up and we have a little user manual here giving you the direction for the battery. And we have a little baby mod. It's so small. Now, just to give you a size comparison, this is the original one I reviewed, which is 21700, and and this is, <laughs> this is, this is the 14500 one. Look at that. It's so small. Uh, we're still using Turkish walnut, if I remember correctly. Uh, so same kind of woods. And we've still got the same thing going on. You know, you have a locking fire button up the top here, but it's just a fire away like this. Unscrew the top here. I'm using a little 14500 battery here. This is an EFEST one. And uh, yeah, you, you, this is your uh, mouth to lung builds only on this one. Uh, so the battery in, and you're only going to get an 18 millimeter diameter ATI on here. And that is it for the Illusia S. This is the 14500 version. Everything is just the same as its big brother, uh, you know, underneath here with the contacts and, you know, your, your pin here. It's it's all the same. Now, the Ion S um, is much the same. I've got this on the side here once again. Uh, so we have a brushed and a polished version. We have a 2 or a 4 mil version. Um, Okay, and um, and yeah, that's it. Once again, we had the, the packaging and everything in here. You do get a, a little packet here that comes with the spare O-rings and so on. You also get a, a, a basic uh, user's manual here. 
And here we go, one Ion S RTA. Uh, now I have been using this and uh, you can see that we've got the serial numbers going round here. What serial number did I get this time? Number 55. So 18 millimeters in diameter and I think it's about 42 millimeters in height, not including this big hoofing uh, drip tip here. This is mouth to lung. This, this is a, a real true and proper mouth to lung RTA. Uh, you can see here, if we look at the air hole sizes we have here, so I think I've got about four holes here and they can only be one mil in size, if that. Uh, but if you turn the AFC around here, you know, you can take it down to less and you can take it down to two and you can take it down to one and it, it locks off. So yes, you can go loose-ish mouth to lung or you can go, yes, very, very restricted mouth to lung. It is a polycarb tank and uh, yeah, we've got the drip tip up here. If you want to fill this, uh, you've got, you just pull that bit off like that and you've got two holes for filling at the top. You do have, uh, if I turn this here, I've got this moving round, so yes, we do have adjustable juice flow control, and I'll just pop this back on just now. We'll unscrew the base, which comes off easy enough. Once I get the base off, I can actually just pop that in like that, and you can see that yeah, there's your chimney there. Just give you another little look inside there, but uh, I'll pop that back up there. Remember, it's polycarb, so juice or t sorry, tank crackers you do not want to use with this. You don't, no tank crackers. Uh, Ion Deck uh, is very, very similar. I've got a tiny little, this is a 1.2 ohm coil in here just now. Very, very basic coil, uh, extremely easy to throw in there. And I'll just put some cotton in and I'm just going to drop it down so that it fills these wick holes here. Now you're only needing a tiny little bit of cotton here, you know, I'm just, once I've got that cotton in there, I actually give it a little fluff out, take my screwdriver that I've got here and make sure that I can poke that down there. It's not jam packed because once this gets saturated with juice, it shall expand and you don't want to, you know, choke off any wicking action. Going to be using some Villanella Custard, which is Carmen from Regency, a plug plug. Uh, so we'll just uh, wick this up here just now, just get a little bit of juice on there. Screw this back on. I then want to make sure that my actual juice flow control is actually shut off here. Actually on my one, the actual open position is just above the serial number, so I'm just turning it to the, the left a little bit there. Pull off the top and then I'm just going to fill this up. And then just spinning this back round again and that's me, I've got my juice flow control open. And that's it. So we'll just uh, screw this little guy on here. And <laughs> it's the, the cutest pod system under the sun. It really is this thing. Uh, just get all my juicy fingerprints off of it. And there we go. Actually, just before we do go for a vape, uh, look at this. So here's uh, a modern pod system. 2 mil capacity, 950 milliamp power. Here's a Here's a pod system I wouldn't mind being seen with. Uh, unfortunately, the 14500 battery is only 650 milliamp hour, but you've still got the two mil capacity going on here. So here's the thing, the Ion S, uh, and I've said this in the past when it comes to Fakir's gear, uh, mostly with the RTAs, uh, sometimes, just sometimes in the past, the, the, the QC can be a little bit, this, no issues with it. Uh, I've no issues with the the threading or, or or anything to do with the RTA. It has been bang on. It is really easy to chuck a tiny little coil in there and just you know adjusting the juice flow control, taking off the fill system at the top. It all works really well, and uh, so no issues on that front whatsoever. Uh, it is, I mean, this is me fully open just now, so hang on till I just screw this down, here we go. It's really nice, it's good. The strange thing is, uh, it's got such a tiny little chamber on it, um, and that coil, I'm getting a good throat hit from this thing. Um, I, I mean, Yes, it, it's something I remember from from 
olden days with their tiny little mouth to lung RTAs and things like that, uh, you, you could just, you got, you could be vaping the same juice that you always vape, but just with that tiny little chamber, it just, you got that extra little throat hit from it. Uh, and that's what I'm getting from that. It's noticeable. That's the reason I mention it. Uh, now the airflow can go from uh, a mouth to lung, uh, and I wouldn't even consider this to be a, a loose mouth to lung. I suppose by modern standards, yeah, it kind of it is a loose mouth to lung. Sorry, I got that wrong. Now, the only thing that's a bit of a pain is that adjusting the actual airflow with the atty on this. Is, is just a pain. Uh, so I actually find it easier just to unscrew the thing and then reset it. But if I take this down to its its smallest ear hole size, which is one tiny, tiny little hole here, we then have... <laughs> oh, that so takes me back. Going down Amnesia Lane here, but this, this just takes me back, this little RTA to... To the, the old K funds and, and things like that, uh, like the K fund was it the 2.1? Um, it just, I really like this. If you like mouth to lung, if you like a very, very tight mouth to lung or a loose one, and you like to get that little bit of throat hit when you're on your mouth to lung, this is a, this is a good little RTA. Uh, I, I'm going to give this two thumbs up. I think the only downside to it is, as, as as always, is it's a polycarb tank. So you cannot go using, you know, your citrus and, uh, you know, your cinnamons and things like that. You could potentially end up cracking the tank. The actual mod itself, uh, once again, I know on the side of the box it says 14500, 18350, 18500 and 18650. I've not seen the 18350 anywhere. Uh, if there is one, great stuff. The only thing you have to bear in mind is that all these new ones, these ones that they've got, you can only use an 18 millimeter RTA. Um, it's only the, the big 21700 version where you can go, what was it, 23 or 24 mil diameter on it. So all the new ones are little 18 mil RTAs. Obviously the limiting factor with the 14500 one is the battery technology. You know, 650 milliamp hour battery. This is, uh, this is, yes, this is, this battery's not going to last you very long at all. No matter if you're using a 1.8 ohm coil build or a 2.2, it still will not last you long. But for the size and then, and, and how cute is that? Um, I really like it. I don't blame them for going down that route and making the different size mods. Why the hell not? There's a market there and I'm sure they'll do very well. And I kept this, uh, I, I plan on kept keeping this one uh, because it's a good mech mod. Yes, it does have a wire in it, but yeah, whatever. Um, and this, well done. I, I mean, well done for Kears. Uh, I, I really do like this little setup. I love the RTA. I do like the mods and that's about all I've got for you. Listen, once again, you can go to the Fakir's website and you can pick these up. The only thing to bear in mind is that yes, they are in Turkey, I'm pretty sure they are. So there may be import fees. I do know that Rob Steam Island in the UK, he has got some of this gear in stock. So you can check it out there also. I will put links in the description. But thank you so, so much to the Fakirs guys for sending this on. I didn't know it was coming, but it is appreciated. And to you, until next time, bye for now.